Will we fall off a dairy cliff? U.S. Senator Charles Schumer wants to prevent that. 7 News reporter Zach Grady finds out tonight what the cliff is and what happens if we fall off it. The Dairy Margin Coverage Program helps New York farmers handle the ups and downs of producing dairy products, a creation in 2018 by U.S. Senate Majority Leader Charles Schumer. It gives monthly payments to our dairy farmers to make up the differences for the price of milk and feed. It's a lifeline to our farmers. But if Congress doesn't pass it, it could expire. And that would mean our farmers would go over the dairy cliff. So what is the dairy cliff? The senator says that along with the stopping of payments by the government to farmers when times are tough, consumers would see a drastic jump in both the price and lack of availability of dairy products at their local store. It would also cause huge supply chain disruptions and that would make milk less available in stores so there'd be an increase, not only in milk, but in all kinds of dairy products. Third generation dairy farmer Eric Fonda says the program can provide up to 10% of his monthly income at Keystone Dairy in Lisbon. The milk that left my farm this morning, I won't see a paycheck for that for 30 days, right? Um, and, um, you know, that's another reason why the DMC program is very helpful. It at least helps offset some of the... Uh, you know, the shortfalls uh, economically for us. The program is set to spoil September 30th, unless it can be incorporated into the 2023 Farm Bill. Whether it's uh, St. Lawrence, Lewis, Jefferson counties, um, dairy farmers or farming in general are economic engines of the time, right? You'd be pretty hard pressed to find somebody that doesn't work at a processing plant uh, or work at one of the many support uh, industries that, um, you know, their income is directly derived through agriculture one way or the other. Schumer says his office will look to push through the dairy margin coverage program, even if it's not a part of this year's farm bill. Zach Grady, 7 News.